Bitcoin, we start with daily chart, chart. That's just I want to give a quick update. We didn't have much update since, as we can see, within this range, the price, the way they are moving is really corrective, okay? The first thing, if you refer to our analysis, we mentioned we want to see whether we can put this one as a correction relative to this. And even if we, we mentioned if we get one more up, we can expect this one turn to a correction similar to what we get here for one more drop. Okay, and from what we can see still, we are within down move within the bear market. And for me personally, if I want to look for buy for the long term, I prefer for the price to retest 28,500. Okay, because from there, I will refer to the indicators. For sure, we can see the divergence and any reversal from there for long term, it can give us better possibility. I mean, better trade setup to look for rather than buy from here, because as I mentioned, Either that we can expect the price to continue as a corrective and retest the previous low, or we can expect one more up with the breakout of the previous top, then the price drop. All right. That's why if we want to look for buy any trade within this one, is a short-term trade. Okay, simply we cannot we have to look for trade setup. Simply we cannot look for buy. We can because we can expect the continuation as a corrective move and even the price retest the previous low. Okay, that's why if we want to look for buy. As I mentioned, first things, still we are within the bear market. And the second things, if for long term, if we want to look for trade, for me, I prefer for one more drop for the price to retest the previous low, okay? Similar to what we had here. As we can see, every time the price could break the previous top, we see the divergence and the price to drop. And what I'm expecting here, we had the first, second, the third one can give us better confirmation for the reversal, okay? The only things I want to highlight, if he wants to look for buy, as long as the price haven't broke this correction, either top or low, any trade is short term. This is what I have explaining, because since the price was within this move, I mentioned we can expect this one turn to a deeper correction. And still, we can expect it to consolidate here for a longer time before we get the reversal. All right. Anyway, right now, what I'm looking for, I want to see whether we can put this one as a correction relative to this. Any trade for buy with the breakout of the previous stop, based on lower time frame, we can look for trade. Okay, and if we move to forward chart, if we refer to our analysis, we have been looking for the this part differently, and we mentioned we can put this one as a three waves flat in relative to this. In this way, we need to see the breakout of the. I mean, we need to see the price break the previous low. As I explained, based on for a daily chart, that's why buying within this correction. Whether the trade setup is not really a good idea. That's when we have to look for the trade setup and any trade setup is a short term because the way they are moving is very corrective. And right now, if we want to put this one as a correction in relative to this, the first thing is, if we look at this move internally, we can see we have a three waves internally in relative to this two. We have a flat as a first internal correction and we can see the last one. Okay, the first thing is we don't want to, if we want to put this one as a correction relative to this move, we, we don't want to see the breakout of the 32K. We don't want to see the confirmation. It's like the price tag, any reversal from there we can look for buy. But if there is a breakout of the 32K, mostly then the price have broken 61% of this move if we put over FIP, which is it doesn't mean the price cannot reverse for the up move from there but we prefer not to see the breakouts and confirmation of this, all right? The only thing is we prefer if the price can tag, then any reversal from there, we can look for buy. Why we want to see the price tag 32K? Because if the price tag 32K, then from there, we can see whether there is a breakout and continuation or not. If there is a continuation, we just let it go, okay? Because mostly we can see the price retest the previous low, which is somewhere around 29 and 30K. Okay, now, as I mentioned, any tag, if the price tag 32K and we see there is no continuation, that's mean the price cannot break any reversal from there, we can look for buy. That's mean we can take the trade for buy. And at that time, see, we want to see the breakout of the previous top, which I'm referring to this top. Okay, that's mean around somewhere around 34,700. But whether we should buy right now, we don't have any trade set up. Okay, the first things we want to see the price drop to 32K, then from there we see if there is a breakout, just let it go. If not, any reversal from there, we can look for buy because internally we can look at this one as a flat. We have the first correction and the last. We can put this move in relative to this. 
And even if the price break, drop to 32K, mostly if we refer to the indicators, we can expect to see the divergence if we refer to the MACD, okay? And as well here, all right. And right now we don't have any trade setup. And as I mentioned, we are within the correction, corrective move. And we, if we move to one hour chart, this is what we can see, okay? And if you refer to the indicators, if the price dropped to 32K, mostly we can see the divergence. And even from here, we can expect to see the divergence, all right? Now, how we can look for buy, if you, I mean, if he wants to look for trade, if, if the price start to uh, consolidate here, I mean, they, we see the correction as a flag, we can expect the price to drop. Whether we should look for sell or not, I'm not really interested to look for sell. Selling at this low, as long as we haven't, I mean, we don't have see the confirmation for the breakout of 32K is not a really good idea. That's why we prefer the price give us a flag drop if we see that if the price cannot break 32k, any reversal as a sharp move flag or correction from there, we will take the trade. Okay, similar to what we get here, or at least as a sharp move correction, or similar to what we get here. All right, then from at that time, the first place when we start to manage, this is the, uh, the previous stop. That means every time if we get any reversal, we refer to our previous stop. The if we get any reversal from here, we will take the trade. The first place, if there is a continuation, where we start to manage is 33K, uh, 33, 350. And the next one is 34, 700, as I explained. Okay, but whether we should look for buy or sell, right now we cannot see. We would, I mean, we cannot look, we don't have any trade setup. Even I mentioned, if we get a flag here, for me, I'm not interested to look for sell. We need to see whether the price can break 32K or not. If there is a breakout, then we can see the continuation for the price drop to either 30 or 29K. But if the price tag 32K and we see there is no breakout, any reversal from there as a short term trade, we can take that, we can look for buy. How to look for trade, any reversal as a sharp move flag, either similar to what we get here or similar to what we get here. And mostly if he wants to look for the reversal as a sharp move flag, the only way is to put a word entry above the top. And if we, what we want, we want to see the continuation as a sharp move. And if the price tag over target, I mean the trade, and we see it's not moving, we are not going to keep the trade more than two hours. All right, this is the only way we can look for trade because as we can see, if we move to forward chart, the way that is moving is really corrective. Buying without the trade setup is not a really good idea because, because there is a possibility the price slowly, slowly can continue and drop and even drop to 28,500, okay? And that's why I mentioned, if I want to look for buy for the long term, I want to see the breakout of this correction, either top or low. And the best thing is if the price can retest 28,500, then any reversal from there, it can give us better confirmation to look for buy. Any trade within this correction, as long as the price haven't broke the big correction, that means somewhere around 42 at the top or 28 at the low, any trade within this correction is a short term trade. That's why if we get the trade and it's not moving our direction, we are not going to keep the trade, okay? Anyway, we don't have really good trade setup. As I mentioned, we are within the corrective move and any trade is a short term. And uh, in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share, thanks.